Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a little simple and easy fun glitch you can do. And that is a new easy way to go weaponless in Halo 2 multiplayer. More specifically, Halo 2 classic custom games. So in the past, to go weaponless, you'd have to uh, use that little plasma pistol, oddball skull method. But now there's a much easier way and a much better way too. So recently, I think like a month ago or so, uh, MCC got a new update where there are now skulls in custom games, Halo 2 custom games, uh, and one of them is the foreign skull. That skull prevents you from being able to pick up or use covenant weapons. So that is what you want to turn on to go weaponless. And then after that, you go to equipment and then change your starting and secondary weapons to any covenant weapon, except for the brute plasma rifle and the sentinel beam. For some reason, the brute plasma rifle doesn't count as a covenant weapon to the foreign skull. I'm guessing it's a bug. And the sentinel beam, it, I mean, it's an alien weapon, but it's technically not a covenant weapon. But anyways, just set both to covenant weapons and then start your game up. Now you could technically use the blind skull uh, to, you know, kind of simulate weaponless, you know, hide the weapon off your screen and your HUD and stuff. But it's not the same because you're still holding a weapon. And if you want to film like a machinima or something, everybody else would also be holding a weapon. Uh, so if that's not what you're going for, then, you know, well, that's not going to work. <laughs> so that's why you want the foreign skull for this method. And then you could even combine it with the blind skull too for like almost like a near theater mode effect. But anyways, as you can see, we are now weaponless and we can't pick up any weapons. And interestingly enough, all your weapons spawn, for the host at least, all your weapons spawn in the middle of the map and just drop out of the sky. And so do other people's weapons as well. But only the host can see it. Now, you want to be careful not to step on any, like, UNSC weapons, because then you'll pick those up. I don't remember if this is a setting or not to prevent any weapon pickup, but if you do step on it, then just, you know, jump off the edge and respawn yourself. And, like I said, if you're the host, you'll be able to see uh, when players respawn, their weapons just... Uh, the weapons they're supposed to hold, the covenant weapons, they just fall out of the sky and land in that spot. But only the host can see it. Anyways, yeah, as you can see, very easy method, very easy trick to do. You are now weaponless. And, um, you know, for those of you who are going for, like, classic Halo 2 machinimas, this would be how you film it. Now, of course, if you want to film a machinima, you'd have to remove the HUD, which is where the blind skull comes in. So you'd want to, if you want to do a machinima or, you know, something like that, or like a grenade only battle, then, you know, this, the foreign skull is perfect. It doesn't exist in campaign for some reason, so you won't be able to use the same method to go weaponless in campaign, but at least you could do it in uh, custom games, classic custom games. Now, you know, like, like I said, uh, aside from like having like true grenade battles, grenade only battles <laughs> without anybody like cheating and using weapons, um, you could, you know, on a more machinima focused side of things, or if you just want to take like nice screenshots or scenery pics, stuff like that, then also turn on a blind skull in combination Slayer. with this. Um, at least if you want to like pose a character for machinimas and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, with the blind skull, not only is like your HUD hidden, but with the foreign skull, you are now like totally weaponless still. And it also works with elites just fine as well. And as you can see here, you know, everything looks. Uh, perfectly fine so that is basically all there is to this uh, just uh, you know you could do any combination of skulls you want to get like the desired effect but the best combination for machinimas and stuff like that is blind and foreign skull but if you just want to do like grenade only battles then you know foreign skull is fine but yeah so there you have it guys uh, that's the new easy way to go weaponless in Halo 2 classic multiplayer uh, if you guys did enjoy this make sure to leave a like uh, leave your thoughts on comments if there's anything else you want to check out or look into just uh, you know let me know and i'll do my best to get around to it but other than that make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all next time bye guys